नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल हैप्पी संडे दोस्तों आज खास टॉपिक है हमारा और ये नॉलेज का जो सीरीज है हमारा रोटी क्लब ऑफ बॉम्बे वेस्ट एंड महाराष्ट्र सोसाइटी वेलफेयर एसोसिएशन के तत्वाधान में संयुक्त तत्वाधान में नॉलेज सीरीज है दोस्तों मंथ के पहले संडे को मंथ फर्स्ट संडे आपको दस बजे हम मिलते हैं एनी हाउ कैसे भी करते तो आप जुड़े रहिए और अलग अलग सब्जेक्ट का हम अवेयर करते हैं रोटरी और महासेवा तो आप कहीं पे भी जुड़े हैं पूना से जो जुड़े हैं नागपुर से जुड़े हुए तो आप सभी का मैं सॉरी जलगांव से जुड़े हुए तो आप सभी का स्वागत करता हूं आपका होस्ट तो दोस्त सुनील शर्मा और आगे बढ़ते हुए आज के खास वेबिनार है खास सब्जेक्ट है दोस्तों आप रीडेवलपमेंट हाउसिंग सोसाइटी जब रीडेवलपमेंट का मुंबई और महाराष्ट्र में दोस्त चल रहा है तो अहम सब्जेक्ट है स्ट्रक्चरल ऑडिट और रिपेयर प्रॉपर्टी हाउसिंग सोसाइटी में आप जब बीस पच्चीस साल आपके साथ सोसाइटी को हो गए तो आप उस मुकाम पे हैं कि क्या रिपेयर करवाएं रीडेवलपमेंट में जाए ऑडिट उसके पहले वो उसकी चेकअप होता है जैसे इंसान का हमारा चेकअप होगा बीपी शुगर हम टेस्ट करवाते हैं डॉक्टर के थ्रू उसी तरह से बिल्डिंग का आपकी हाउसिंग सोसाइटी का भी बीपी और शुगर टेस्ट करना है स्ट्रक्चर ऑडिट के थ्रू या रिपेयर की रिक्वायरमेंट है इन सब चीजों के लिए आपको प्रोफेशनल आर्किटेक्ट और इंजीनियर की टीम की जरूरत लगती है उसी विषय पर महत्वपूर्ण विषय पर आज हम अवेयर करेंगे आ, हमारे जो तीनों स्पीकर मिस्टर गौतम चांदे का मैं उनका स्वागत करता हूँ साथ ही आज का इस वेबिनार में मैं वेलकम के लिए बिहार ऑफ रोटरी क्लब से मैं उनको स्वागत करने के लिए इन्वाइट करता हूँ दिस प्रोग्राम इज ऑर्गेनाइज ज्वाइंटली बाय रोटरी क्लब ऑफ बॉम्बे वेस्ट एंड महासेवा एंड आई एम रियली वेरी हैप्पी टू वेलकम यू ऑल ऑफ यू जस्ट टू गिव ए लिटल ब्रीफ रोटरी क्लब ऑफ बॉम्बे वेस्ट इज सिचुएटेड एट Jutara Road, uh, Bombay, and we are one of the very old club, and involved in so many community services. We are having, we are running a one special child school at uh, Jhu. We are also running a one medical center, one blood bank, and various other community services. With this small note, and I also welcome all of you to join Rupri for continue to join for a community services. With this note, I would like to welcome all of you. I request Mr. Sunil Sharma to start to take proceedings further. Thank you, Anand Gupta ji, who is past president of Rotary Club Bombay West and a builder association of India ke, uh, uh, founder. So I am going to welcome him with my heart. And I will say this. And our senior speaker is uh, Mr. Gautam Sandhya. Gautam ji, you are welcome. Gautam ji and all of you, 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 गौतम जी का और आनंद गुप्ता जी का रमेश कपूर जी का स्वागत करता हूं कि जिंदगी में किसी का साथ काफी है ध्यान दीजिएगा जिंदगी में किसी का साथ काफी है आज जिंदगी में आप लोगों को अवेयरनेस का सिलसिला मिला है आनंद गुप्ता जी और रमेश कपूर जी हम सब लोगों के साथ में तो जिंदगी में किसी का साथ काफी है कंधे पर किसी का हाथ काफी है हाउसिंग गुरु का कंधे पर किसी का हाथ काफी है दूर हो या पास क्या फर्क पड़ता है आप जैसे जलगांव में है नागपुर में है पूना में दूर हो या पास क्या फर्क पड़ता है डिजिटल पर बने रिश्तों का सिर्फ एहसास ही काफी है डिजिटल पर बने रिश्तों का सिर्फ एहसास काफी है दोस्तों ये अवेयरनेस के जो रिश्ते बनते हैं ये बहुत बहुत नाजुक होते हैं बहुत प्यारे होते हैं तो हम इस खूबसूरत मोटिवेट लाइन के साथ में स्वागत करेंगे आज के किलो स्पीकर मिस्टर गौतम चांदे साहब का गौतम चांदे साहब के बारे में बता दू आज स्ट्रक्चर ऑडिट एंड रिपेयर प्रॉपर्टी हाउसिंग सोसाइटी के बारे में बताएंगे आपको 25 ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स का जबरदस्त एक्सपीरियंस है साहब बेचलर ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग सिविल में और स्ट्रक्चर ऑडिट और तमाम विषय के जानकार हैं पीएमसी और सबसे बड़ी बात दोस्तों इनका जो फील्ड है कंसल्टिंग इंजीनियरिंग पीएमसी एंड स्ट्रक्चर ऑडिट और उन्नीस सौ से दोस्तों इनकी जो कंपनी है उन्नीस सौ से लेट थ्री दिन तक साधे साहब बी सिविल में ये आज मोस्ट सीनियर आर्किटेक्ट इंजीनियर एंड बेलियर दिनकर साहब दिनकर चांदे साहब और उनके बाद इनके पिताजी लेट श्री उदय चांदे साहब ये भी फॉर्म नाउ और आज इनकी छठ जनरेशन है साहब चांदे साहब की आप जैसे देखते हैं यू डी चांदे यू फॉर उदय चांदे और डी फॉर दिनकर चांदे इनके पिताजी और दादाजी दोनों इस फील्ड के महारत से हैं छठ जनरेशन है गौतम जी की तो गौतम जी बड़े अनुभवी है और तमाम विषय के जानकार हैं और ये करीबन बाहर सितर साल जो छह दशक इनकी जनरेशन ने दी है उनका जबरदस्त अनुभव रखते हैं और आज इस विषय पे 
हम सभी को बताएंगे तो मैं आपको यही कहूंगा कि गौतम जी का अनुभव आपको काफी तीन पीढ़ियों का जो अनुभव है वो और साथ गौतम जी पीएटा बड़ी संस्था है आर्किटेक्ट और इंजीनियर की पीएटा के मेंबर हैं बी ए बिल्डर एसोसिएशन ऑफ इंडिया के मेंबर हैं ए एस आई अमेरिकन सोसाइटी ऑफ इंडियन इंजीनियर बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर है रोटरी इंटरनेशनल रोटरी के पास प्रेसिडेंट है इंटरनेशनल रोटरी क्लब से जुड़े हैं पास प्रेसिडेंट है रोटरी क्लब ऑफ बॉम्बे वेस्ट के ऐसे गौतम चांडे जी का मैं स्वागत करता हूँ प्लीज वेलकम गौतम चांडे थैंक यू गुड मॉर्निंग सुप्रभातम सत श्री अकाल टू एवरीबडी टूडे द टॉपिक इज स्ट्रक्चरल ऑडिट ब्रीफली आई टेल यू अबाउट माई कंपनी आई थिंक सुनील जी हैज बीन वेरी काइंड to give me a very nice uh, introduction we are structural consultants structural auditors and pmc for self uh, for redevelopment today the topic is structural audits so as we get into that okay so let me first describe live before structural audits i think there is some issue with the screen share right now okay let me first get to live before structural audits before i get to what structural audits actually mean people would do work in their flats without understanding the effects on the structure building repairs were done with only cost in mind and not actual need sometimes and quite often structure of the building was compromised unfortunately the effects were disastrous in some instances all of you have heard unfortunately of buildings which have collapsed because of people doing some changes not talking to anybody uh, until it was too late unfortunately lives have been lost hence arose the need for structural audits now the question is structural audit hai kya what is a structural audit a structural audit is like a health checkup for the building it includes an inspection of the structure of the building the question is what is structure some people don't even know ki the building consists of different components what we see in a building is the windows walls tiles uh, finishes you know the chakcha can shano rona which is of course very nice but the real hero in a lot of ways uh, in terms of the health of the building consists of the structure the structure consists of beams slabs columns and foundations slabs are fundamentally the floor that you walk in the ceiling that is above you the beams hold the slabs and the columns hold the beams and slabs all this rests on the foundation there are other impacting non structural components such as plaster and waterproofing these components are not directly structural but they have a big effect on the structure of the building now the question is okay ye structural audit to theek hai lekin kyu kare ye structural audit just as a person ages they need to get a periodic check up done you know when you are young you are fine you can sleep at 4 5 o'clock in the morning get up at 7 o'clock there are no issues uh, you know everything is fine then you get older eventually you realize that you need to take care of your body similarly a building also needs a periodic check up done this periodic check up is known as a structural audit the audit fundamentally helps to identify areas that need repair it also identifies areas that may pose a threat to the safety of the inhabitants these are some very important and basic points that person must be aware of what other information can be there in a structural audit you get an idea of the potential cost of repairs you can prioritize based on funds available society can plan the repairs required in a controlled manner if not done in an organized manner then repairs can reach an extreme situation if such an extreme situation is reached then the society will have to pay a higher amount suddenly now just imagine that you know if you think of a family which is our most basic unit all of us suppose your child or whomsoever just uh, calls up and says ki baba we need to have uh, i am buying a very expensive car i need 70 lakhs right now you will say why you have to tell me you can't just come and tell me that i need something or he calls you saying i'm stuck in some particular place i knew i was going to go there but uh, i need 70 lakhs right now you say well you'll be forced to sell something or just pay him the money because it's your near and dear one similarly in a building if you don't plan your repairs understand the need for it you will have you will be forced to pay money in an unplanned manner and you will have no choice but to pay because it may have reached a very dangerous stage remember ignoring the health of the building 
can endanger the safety of the inhabitants. You take care of the building in which you live and the building will take care of you. Now, how is a structural audit done? It involves a visual survey identifying cracks, leakages and other signs of structural problems. A lot of people do not just understand that these are issues which need to be addressed. And the longer you let them linger and continue, you are going to face bigger problems later on. We also identify whether are possible adverse changes in plans. You know, sometimes people just shift bathrooms, uh, load up chhajjas, enclose chhajjas, add too much weight than what is required, uh, or even make some breakages. So wherever possible, these changes are also identified. It also involves non-destructive testing such as ultrasonic pulse velocity, potentiometer, hammer test, carbonation test, fluoride test. We also do core tests. Broadly speaking, what these tests tell you, for example, the ultrasonic pulse velocity tells you about the density of concrete. How good the concrete is uh, as an indicative measure, some idea of the strength. A potentiometer tells you about whether the reinforcement has bigger potential for corrosion or whether it is already corroded. The hammer test gives you an indication of the hardness and hence the strength of concrete. Carbonation test tells you about whether the concrete is deteriorated. The chloride test tells you about the level of chlorides in the concrete, which is an indicator of uh, how fast it may deteriorate or how fast it will corrode. The data from the tests, observations during the visual survey, along with engineering judgment, form the basis for the structural auditor's opinion. <clears throat> now, the knowledge of structural systems is required. What I mean by structural systems is uh, all of you are aware that in the last 10, 15 years, a lot of buildings with very fancy elevations have been built. It's very nice. However, a lot of those buildings were built that way, uh, taking advantage of certain municipal uh, rules that required construction in a very, very uh, unique manner, I will say. If somebody looks at these buildings, if somebody looked at these buildings say, 10 years before or 10 years from now, it would seem inconceivable that buildings were built that way. You know, there were a lot of, there were flower beds, elevation features which were allowed to be built and which were enclosed by people. But that meant there were a lot of areas which were created, which would eventually trap water or add load on the building. When we do an audit, we understand that these areas have probably been enclosed in the past. Understand the importance of how it could have been done as we decide the impact of what has happened over there. Another thing is the history of construction. Was the building built at one go? Was it built in separate parts? I mean, there are some TDR buildings where you have the older building and then you have another building built on top of that, which were essentially made at very different times and can have very different behaviors. Was there something which happened, you know, during construction? Uh, we have gone into some buildings where we have realized that some of the walls are made of concrete. However, they were not structural because there was a phase when some of the internal walls were made out of concrete in Mumbai. Then we have changed back to brick and now we are going back to a system where some walls will be made out of concrete but will not be structural. We also need to know history of the repair of the building. Uh, was the building repaired two years ago and it's been freshly painted and is it showing cracks right away? Uh, or is it something else? It has never been repaired and it's just showing a moderate level of uh, distress, cracks and sagging. All this information is compiled in the form of a report. These different perspectives are very important to understand the structural health of a building. Once we get a comprehensive idea, then we can sit with the building uh, committee and advise what is the best way ahead. Obviously, the report has to identify areas that are critical, need major repair and not so urgent repair. Based on this information and discussion with the committee, a repair plan can be made. To summarize, ignoring the health of the building can also endanger the safety of the inhabitants. You take care of the building and the building takes care of you. This, sir, is my basic presentation. If you have any questions, do, uh, you know, I'm open for questions right now. Uh, I have intentionally left certain questions I expect will be asked. Uh, but fundamentally, you have to take care of the building. The building, just to once again repeat, is 
the when a building is made you all of you have seen the concrete the columns beams and slabs the gray part and the steel being put in that is like the muscles and the bones of the building the paint the finishes and all that you apply are like the makeup as i'm calling it yes it's important from the sale perspective of the building it's important to impress people who go into the building but the behavior and how well all that functions depends on the health i've seen buildings which have not been maintained crumble in as early as 15 years obviously you know something wrong has happened over there i have seen buildings which have otherwise been standing people gave uh, the repairs to some contractor who wasn't really really qualified who wasn't chosen he was just chosen by the building based on i guess lowest cost and it is very unfortunate that this person repaired columns in such a way that the building collapsed and unfortunately this has happened just a few streets away from where i live uh, to the extent where you know i remember i was sitting in delhi i was sitting in delhi and uh, one of my friends called up and uh, he said uh, do you know what happened to that building uh, i said well what happened well he said that building collapsed and i was so shocked because i had just passed that building in the morning on the way to the airport what had happened was the contractor started making repairs to the columns he broke one column not being breaking just one column he broke the next column also and at the end of all of that unfortunately the building collapsed i ended up speaking to a couple of people who lived in that building i had friends over there it was just harrowing uh, fortunately you know most of them survived only one person lost their life but uh, this was done because of people not being aware of the audits and uh, what is really required to be done yes thank you very much mr gautam chandra ji gautam sir yeah ab dekhi uh, maine kya dekha hai har saal july aur august mein particularly hamare jo bombay shahar ka main bolta hu ki ek ya do building girti hai और हमारे मुख्यमंत्री साहब और हमारे बाकी जो पॉलिटिकल लीडर्स हैं वो उस बिल्डिंग पे जाके सहानुभूति व्यक्त करते हैं और फिर सेम कहानी हर नेक्स्ट ईयर भी रिपीट होती है तो क्या ऐसा कुछ नहीं है देर इज नो फोर्स ऑफ लॉ कि इतने टाइम में इतना बिल्डिंग को स्ट्रक्चर ऑडिट करना कंपलसरी है और यदि नहीं किया तो देर वुड बी एक्शन सर अभी अभी तो रूल ऐसा है कि तीस साल के बाद आपको हर तीन साल में स्ट्रक्चरल ऑडिट करना अनिवार्य है ओके okay. मैं तो कहता हूं दस साल के बाद या जैसे भी आप कोई क्रैक्स देखना शुरू करें आपके बिल्डिंग में आप स्ट्रक्चरल ऑडिट करना आवश्यक रहेगा आवश्यक मतलब कैसे होता है कि जैसे आप जस्ट लाइक अूमन बॉडी कि कभी कभी इन योर ट्वेंटीज ऑल्सो आपको दर्द होता है किधर तो आप ऐसे नहीं बोलते अरे मैं तो ट्वेंटीज में हूं मुझे कुछ नहीं हो रहा मैं इग्नोर करूंगा तभी इंजरी हो सकती है तभी आप इंजरी का बराबर ख्याल नहीं रखोगे तो जब आपके फोर्टीज में जाओगे थर्टीज फोर्टीज या फिफ्टीज में तो बहुत ज्यादा प्रॉब्लम हो सकता है वैसे ही बिल्डिंग जैसे ही आपको लगे कि क्रैक्स होने वाले आपको स्ट्रक्चर ऑडिट करना जरूरी है और इट इज रिकमेंडेड दूसरी एक बात मतलब अगर आपको कोई चेंजेस करने हैं आपके फ्लैट्स पे तब भी स्ट्रक्चर ऑडिट करना जरूरी है बिकॉज आप उसमें क्या चेंजेस कर सकते हो क्या नहीं कर सकते वो सब आप पता लगा सकते हो लॉट ऑफ बिल्डिंग्स आस्क अस दैट इफ समबडी वांट्स टू डू चेंजेस द चेंजेस हैव टू बी अप्रूव्ड बाय अ स्ट्रक्चरल इंजीनियर फंडामेंटली ओके यू नीड अ लेटर फ्रॉम अ स्ट्रक्चरल इंजीनियर सेइंग द चेंजेस आर नॉट रियली रिक्वायर्ड आर नॉट रियली अफेक्टिंग द स्ट्रक्चरल हेल्थ ऑफ द बिल्डिंग क्वाइट ऑफन पीपल आर नॉट अवेयर समटाइम्स पीपल आल्सो ट्राई टू हाइड दो चेंजेस मतलब रिसेंटली रिसेंटली अभी ऐसे हुआ कि आ, मुझे एक बिल्डिंग से फोन आया जो बिल्डिंग हमने ही डिजाइन की थी अनेक वर्षों पहले उनका फोन आया कि कोई कुछ चेंज कर रहा है आ, और आप आ सकते हो क्या तो बोले एक दो दिन में आता हूं मैं जैसे ओके नो प्रॉब्लम दो दिन के बाद गया मैं वहां पे और जब तक मैं जाके वो इंस्पेक्ट कर सकता था उन लोगों ने वो सब कंप्लीट कर लिया था प्लास्टर वास्टर प्लास्टर टाइलिंग किया तो जब मैं गया सब फिनिश हो गया तो आई कुड नॉट सी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द बिल्डिंग यू नो स्ट्रक्चर मतलब वहां का जो स्लैब है कॉलम है uh, या बीम है उसके ऊपर उन्होंने प्लास्टर लगाया था टाइल लगाई थी और बोले देखो जो देखना है देख लीजिए तो ऐसे ये थोड़ा ट्रिकी सिचुएशन होता है तो मैं अभी उनको बोलने वालों कमिटी को कि अगर बाद में किसी आदमी ने ऐसे वापिस किया तो द बिल्डिंग शुड बी ऑथराइज टू एक्चुअली ब्रेक दैट एंड लेट मी सी इट नाउ इट बी डिफिकल्ट टू सी समथिंग लाइक दैट बट यू मस्ट रियलाइज की जिस बिल्डिंग में आप रहते हो 
आप ये नहीं सोच सकते कि ये मेरा फ्लैट है और मैं इंडिपेंडेंटली इसमें कुछ भी कर सकता हूँ यस वो आपकी अमानत है मानता हूं मैं लेकिन जो आपका फ्लोर है वो और किसी का छत है और जो आपका छत है वो और किसी का की जमीन है यू नो सो समी समी बेसिकली Uh, something bad to their floor, it can actually affect the person below. Suppose, suppose you come and put a swimming pool in your living room. मैं थोड़ा एक्सट्रीम एग्जाम्पल देता हूँ कि बड़ा स्विमिंग पूल देते हो आप सौ लोगों को डालते हो आपके लिविंग रूम में आपका तो फ्लोर टूट जाएगा तो पानी जो लीक होगा अगर स्लैब खुदा ना कास्ता बेंड हो गया तो नीचे का छत हो गया ना वो सो so, ये अवेयरनेस काफी लोगों में नहीं है हम लोगों ने कुछ बिल्डिंग में रिपेयर करने पड़े कि हम लोगों ऊपर से जब टाइल्स निकाले लोगों ने तो उन्हें ये उन्होंने ये देखा कि एकदम खराब है स्लैब नीचे जाके देखा तो देर डिड नॉट अपियर टू बी एनी मेजर प्रॉब्लम बट दीपल रिफ्यूज टू लेटर्स रिपेयर बिकॉज दे वर नॉट अवेयर दैट एनी टाइम द स्लैब कुड है उनको तो दिख रहा था कि नहीं बस मेरा पेंट ठीक है मेरे छत में कुछ होने रहा है जो आपके फ्लोर में करना है आप कीजिए तो ये अवेयरनेस नहीं था कि उनका जो छत है ऊपर वाले का फ्लोर है और अगर ऊपर से दो तीन इंच एक स्लैब मानो छह इंच है तो अगर तीन इंच ऊपर से गया है तो उनके छत के ऊपर अभी सिर्फ तीन इंच बचा है और वो कब भी गिर सकता है तो देन वी हैड टू फाइंड अ वे टू रिपेयर दैट फ्रॉम टॉप बट आई हैड टू वॉन द बिल्डिंग की इट इज नॉट द बेस्ट फॉर्म टू रिपेयर इट इज द बेस्ट दैट यू कैन डू विद इन द अवेलेबल पॉसिबिलिटीज बट द बिगेस्ट Reason, but the biggest uh, advice I will give is awareness. People must be aware that the building they are living in is like a living organism. Okay. You have the bones, you have the muscle. You have to take care of the structure of your building, and it is not seen. I mean, one one case I'll say is one of the buildings I live near. But I know it was made by uh, an architect, some um, builder friend of ours. I was going out, and outside the column, I saw such a big hole. And I was shocked. ये बिल्डिंग में ऐसे कैसे हो रहा है मतलब वो आदमी जानकार था और ये आठ नौ साल पहले की बात है तो मैं फोन मैं चाहता था कि उनको फोन करके बताओ आई वाज वंडरिंग वेदर आई शुड यू नो इंटरफेयर इन देयर वर्क बिकॉज दो देयर फ्रेंड्स देयर यू नो इट्स एन इंडिपेंडेंट बिल्डिंग उन लोगों ने मेरे को फोन किया तीन घंटे बाद ये हमारे फ्लैट हमारे बिल्डिंग में ऐसे कुछ हो रहा है आप प्लीज आके देख लीजिए वी वेंट टू द बिल्डिंग those people uh, who were carrying out the changes they were polite unke man mein kuch kharab nahi tha they said sure aap aake dekh sakte ho jo bhi interiors ka kaam chal raha hai tab workers the hum log jab flat ke andar gaye to workers ne dekha hai ki ha ye dekho hole kiya hai matlab unko pata bhi nahi tha ki unhone kya kiya hai aur hum logon ne unko pucha ki bhai kyu kiya aapko malum hai ki aapne building ke pair the column is like the leg of a building usme hole kiya hai बोले सर हमें वो पाइप निकालना था इलेक्ट्रिकल वायर और एसी का तो यहाँ पे अच्छी जगह लगी होल कर दिया मतलब इफ वी हैड नॉट कॉट इट दे हैड डन समथिंग मोर द बिल्डिंग वाज इन डेंजर इवेंचुअली ऑफ कोलैप्सिंग इफ दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ वर्क इज अलाउड टू बी डन सो द आंसर टू योर क्वेश्चन एज टू हाउ फ्रीक्वेंटली द ऑडिट शुड बी डन आइडियली आफ्टर थर्टी ईयर्स एवरी थ्री ईयर्स you can also do them every 5 years after 15 years okay but even after 5 even after say 3 4 years if you feel there is something happening in the building for whatever be the reason normally 3 4 5 years mein kuch hota nahi hai so you should need to have a structural you know audit done it may at the most you will be you know uh, doing a check up which you may realize is not necessary but if something is happening it identifies areas correct correct गौतम जी एकदम सही फरमाया आपने ऐसा ही एक एग्जाम्पल हुआ था बोरीवली में लक्ष्मी छाया दो हजार छह सात की बात हुई लक्ष्मी छाया बिल्डिंग में भी जब वो पिलर से छेड़खानी की थी और उसके बाद आज पता है उसका तो कन्वेंस भी नहीं था पता है कन्वेंस नहीं था बहुत इशूज हुआ था बाद में उन लोगों ने इकट्ठा किया पैसा और फिर उसके बाद ऑनर को दिया फिर वो उसको कन्वेंस मिला दे फिर वो आज बन के तैयार है तो बहुत सारी चीजें होती है आ, मैं चाहूंगा आपकी तीसरी जनरेशन है साहब आपके दादाजी दिनकर जी आर्किटेक्ट और इंजीनियर और इतना सब बेहतरीन काम किए उस वक्त से आ, उस वक्त से और आज वक्त में जो बदलाव हुआ है बहुत बड़ा है सभी आसमान का फर्क है तो जो रूल्स है रूल्स और जो कानून आने चाहिए जो भी पी की तरफ से तो तमाम लोगों की आपकी जो बिरादरी उसकी तरफ से बिहाबा बिल्डर एसोसिएशन महासेवा और पीएटा 
कि सरकार को प्रेजेंट करे कि कुछ चीजें अब होनी चाहिए जो आए दिन मुंबई में जैसे अभी आनंद जी ने बोला कि बारिश में कुछ इलीगल कंस्ट्रक्शन भी होते उसके उस वक्त वो वहां पे वो ध्वे जाती बिल्डिंग है वो प्लस जहां पे ऑडिट नहीं होता है पहले ऑडिट नहीं होता है पचास पचास पास चालीस चालीस साल हो जाते हैं इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर को उस पर क्या होना चाहिए आप बोल रहे हो कि हाँ प्रेजेंट पीएम और डीसीएम यूडी वगैरह को ताकि क्या है एक प्रॉपर टेक्निकली प्रेजेंटेशन जाएटा की तरफ से और बिल्डर एसोसिएशन महासेवा की तरफ से ताकि कुछ सरकार इस पे आपको मौका दे कि नहीं आप ये बात कही है और आप इस पे हम कुछ कर सकते हैं कानून ला सकते हैं शायद हमें सरकार के साथ और थोड़ी बात करनी चाहिए बिकॉज क्या होता है कि लाइक ऐसे अवेयरनेस है सब स्मार्ट लोग है बट जैसे हम लोग मानो रेडिएशन इंजीनियरिंग या मेडिकल चीज में हम लोग सिर्फ लिमिटेड चीजें जानते हैं वैसे वो लोग स्ट्रक्चरल इंजीनियरिंग और अपने बिल्डिंग्स के बारे में बहुत कम जानते हैं टेक्निकल हिसाब के जानते हैं पहले कैसे था दो तीन माले की बिल्डिंग्स हुआ करती थी उसमें इतना इश्यू नहीं था यू नो एंड देवर बिल्ड विथ विथ फार थिकर वॉल से लो बिंदास मानो तो दे, दे लास्ट एड अभी क्या हो रहा है कि अभी कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी भी बढ़ गई है कि आपके जो मतलब हम लोग उसको एमईपी इंजीनियरिंग बोलते हैं मैकेनिकल इलेक्ट्रिकल प्लम्बिंग एसी की रिक्वायरमेंट बढ़ गई है हम लोग जिस हिसाब से बिल्डिंग यूज करते हैं वो भी काफी बढ़ गए तो उसके हिसाब से नए रूल्स बनने चाहिए सिंपल रूल्स मैं मैं मानता हूं कि रूल्स सिंपल होने चाहिए जितने आप कॉम्प्लेक्स करोगे उतना इवेंचुअल यूजर को प्रॉब्लम होता है सिंपल बेसिक रूल्स ये अपना ऑडिट का जो रूल बना है कि आपको हर तीन साल में करना चाहिए तीस साल के बाद पंद्रह साल के बाद फाइव ईयर्स दीज आर ऑल वेरी गुड एंड सिंपल रूल्स पीपल हैव टू स्टार्ट इंप्लीमेंटिंग दे इन द राइट स्पिरिट सो अगर हम लोग गवर्नमेंट बॉडीज के साथ डिस्कस करके उन्हें इस बारे में एजुकेट कर सकते हैं दिस इज दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मतलब गौतम जी कुछ इसके ऊपर कुछ एक्शन है क्या जो लोग ऐसा नहीं करेंगे नहीं उसके ऊपर एक्शन तो सी एक्शन मतलब आपको इवेंचुअली क्रिमिनल या कुछ सूट करना पड़ेगा नॉर्मली सोसाइटी में क्या होता है कि मैनेजिंग कमिटी इज प्रैक्टिकली पावरलेस टू रियली इम्पोज एनीथिंग ऑन द मेंबर मतलब वो आप फंडामेंटल क्या है कि उनकी आउटस्टैंडिंग ड्यूज है तो वो भी रिकवर नहीं कर सकते तो उनके घर में जाके उनको बोलना कि नहीं आपको ये रिपेयर करना जरूरी है वो मुश्किल है वॉट द मैनेजिंग कमिटी डज एंड कैन डू इज राइट अ लेटर पुटिंग ऑन रिकॉर्ड कि ये हमने आपको वॉर्न किया है आपको ये करना पड़ेगा उससे वाला देर इज नो रियल मैकेनिज्म टू फोर्स देम टू डू रिपेयर आई थिंक देर शुड बी कि स्ट्रक्चरल बात जो है वो बहुत बहुत जरूरी है और वो स्ट्रक्चर आप एक बार बांधते हो रिपेयर भी क्या You know, you do it only a few times. So, jitna ab acha kar sakte ho, that should be required. Rule karna zaroori hai. Abhi tak to koi aise rule nahi hai jisse managing committee force kar sakti hai. Abhi kuch buildings mein aise hota hai ki log managing committee ki sunte hai, wo force karte hai, but that is based on their uh, relationship or personality rather than a rule. Participant mein se koi question hai, to dosal ji se kar sakte hai. Yeah, okay. So there are some there are some queries. Uh, I'm just going to read them out. Yes, sir. Yes. If the structure of the basement plus three-story building is casted in two runs, up to first floor in one, and after three years rest is casted, can it affect life of the building? And if yes, how? Will you please explain? This is P K Rathi from Jalgaon. So uh, it depends on what care has been taken for the structure uh, of the building when you know when the basement and three floors was cast in two runs. Why was it abandoned? You know why? What happened in those three years? Was it just left open and it kept on raining and care wasn't taken? Uh, did some different loads come on the building at that time? Uh, which sir, it was caused... kept. Sir, it was kept uh, open. Yeah. So then, then yes, that can happen. Uh, it can affect the quality of concrete. We have experienced that uh, at some cases. Sometimes it is not as bad as it. seems but it can have the effects will be seen only years later unfortunately now there was a building which we were which we had designed which was left similarly for 3 4 5 years the builder came back to us and said and this have abhi fir se wo building shuru karni hai to abhi kya kare so there we used our audit experience we tested the last slab of the building which was constructed they had the concrete salya open and then the last slab and it just kept on raining on that so we tested The, the we tested the top slab we tested some of the lower areas also we tested the steel 
we realized that there had been little bit of deterioration, not as much as we had thought, but as a precaution. And there we could do it because obviously there was nobody living over there. We had them demolish the top slab, which of the building, and cast that new. And the builder was nice. You know, he you know he agreed to do that. But if the you're if you're living in a building which has been done that way, uh, there's not much you can do right now. You just have to wait, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, it hasn't deteriorated as much as you know, uh, as it could. You can see one of the cares you can take is make sure there is proper plastering and painting done for the building throughout its life because that allows water. In the more you allow water in into the building, the faster is the deterioration. Water is the strongest material. You know, it seems soft; it gives us life, but it has the most strength that you are not aware of. it can basically really really help deteriorate the structure thank you sir any question for related topic yes sir may bolu yeah yes go ahead i am anand alkulkar from pune yeah uh, i have visited one insurance company's office that building is ground plus three floor and there is a vertical crack right from bottom Ah. Extending up to the all three floors. Okay. But and uh, one of the columns are also being uh, forming in the crack. So whether this building would be safe for future? So you yes, said, uh, can you can you just repeat how uh, this is a ground plus how many floors building? Ground plus three. One plus three, and there is a vertical crack in the column. Yes. Okay. And that crack is extending right from ground floor to all three floors. This is the situation. Okay. Uh, my first thought is obviously this is a serious thing which needs to be inspected. Okay. Uh, but the entire building needs to be looked at for you know, both reasons. Why is the column? Why is only one column cracking? or have it is happening to other columns and hasn't been noticed if if it is even if it is only one column cracking is it showing up on other structural elements because they are all at the end of the day connected to each other so all that has to be inspected before we can really tell you how bad it is but uh, on the side of precaution if there is a vertical crack in the building going all the way from bottom to top and the fact that you are asking me means it seems to be pretty uh, severe that yeah, you have to be very careful you have to be very careful about uh, such you know things they have to be looked at immediately thank you sir thank you sir thank you hello uh, another question sir yes go ahead बिल्डिंग एट अहमदाबाद एंड देर वॉज ए स्विमिंग पूल कंटेनिंग अबाउट सेवेंटी थाउजेंड लीटर ऑफ वॉटर Mm-hmm. and as a result of earthquake that building has shaken it has become a tower of pisa whether it would need repairs or needs demolition and reconstruction i am over sir over <laughs> okay if it has become tower of pisa i hope there are no people living in it first of all yeah or are people living in it there are persons are living sir okay uh, obviously that's not people need to vacate that but now we have seen something uh, similar okay you need you need to understand what has happened to the building from a design perspective here you'll need a little bit more of in depth survey in depth uh, analysis you need to understand whether the building is continuing to tilt or if it is a one time event years ago when i was in the usl go to a slightly different topic i'm coming back to of course your question when i was uh, in the us there was you know they they're very very particular about these things 
there was a medical center where the top floor of the garage appeared to be tilted literally okay they they went crazy because it had been there for a few years they didn't know if it would been uh, there from the beginning or if it had tilted recently they all thought it had tilted recently so we were called i mean i was working in a different firm over there of course and i was put in charge of trying to understand what was happening so there also at that time this technology wasn't really easily available but we searched for companies who could do it and we set up a monitoring system by which we monitored whether the building was continuing to tilt or if the tilt had stopped we realized that the tilt had stopped but what we also realized that the building was moving back and forth throughout the day the system was set up in such a way that if it crossed a certain limit my mobile phone would get a warning the owner's mobile phone would get a warning and obviously the hospital building would get a warning so we were hoping and praying that nothing like that would happen nothing happened like that fortunately closer to home even in mumbai for 8 9 years ago i was called to a building uh, 10 o'clock at night saying there was a huge uh, 20 30 foot hole in the ground which had just appeared by magic next to the building it was it was a big surprise i went there and yes there was and to the extent where a car parked had, in that had just fallen inside people are obviously scared we had them evacuated immediately as a safety precaution we could see the foundations of the building we monitored the building for a few days we realized that there was nothing more happening the foundations were secure this had happened outside the building okay we monitored the building again for a month or two we had surveys taken to see if anything was happening Uh, but otherwise the building had not really suffered any other damage so we were very confident about having the people go back in now in your case sir you are saying that this has happened during an earthquake the swimming pool being in the building is not really necessarily a, a big factor we have designed lot of buildings with swimming pools in it uh, as long as the swimming pool was planned from the beginning most pretty much all structural engineers would have considered their weight of the swimming pool and planned for it if the building has tilted already one it needs to be monitored whether it is continuing to tilt secondly it's sooner or later sooner or later that building is going to fall down okay whether it happens in a few days few months or a few years depends on little bit of luck and how the structure has been designed and what the impact on that so you must measure how much it has tilted by are new cracks beginning to appear what cracks have already happened have they done something remedial measures and stopped uh, so once you understand all of that then you can take an informed decision thank you ji thank you hello gautam ji how are you very good i have sir. a question i have a question uh, i'm bandesh here yeah uh, in conjunction with the earlier question that uh, was asked by the gentleman uh, for buildings which are 30 40 years old right what is the way in which we can uh, do a structural audit easily of the foundation because that becomes a very important issue as of this uh, moment i don't know of uh, easy methodology of doing uh, structural audit of foundation yeah. what i see is that you have to dig and then go down and then do an audit is that some way in which or with your uh, expertise which you probably can bring from abroad that they have certain entity measures can you please uh, highlight on how can we uh, do audit of the foundation for older building so that is a critical area so i understand sir uh, unfortunately there is really not much technology but now that i have asked the question i will apply my mind because one of the some of the stuff we did abroad was coming up with test methods you know where none existed to some extent right so there is something known as ground penetrating radar and all but primarily it detects just broadly if there are objects and the shape or so okay yeah uh, so yes i i will you know i will find out more i will take up this question in the right spirit per se you're right the foundation must be must be looked at practically most people don't allow foundations to be inspected we have brought this point up uh, there was only one point where one case where uh, we could actually prove to people how important it was there was a building which showed cracks in the ground floor columns and to be on the safe side we said let's just excavate a little bit below the plinth to see because the cracks seem major when we excavated we found that the area below plinth the columns had completely collapsed practically okay it was a miracle that that part of the building hadn't collapsed so we excavated more 
there because obviously the people were scared we had to look at the foundation the foundations were not cracked or anything but the areas just above the foundation were terrible so uh, unfortunately there is no technology to do a non invasive scanning you should look at the foundations uh, i agree fortunately not much happens to the foundations but yes you should look at the foundations because that is what on everything sits honestly speaking so the building has to then say the building has to say that you allow them to inspect you allow them to excavate what you can do as a wire meter is let's say about 3 4% of your total columns you allow the auditor or the contractor to excavate down to the foundation see what the condition is if that appears bad or in need of repair then you have to take an informed uh, decision whether to excavate more and if required to inspect all of them so that is like a wire meter you know where you just look at say you see some columns are badly cracked expose down to the foundation for that and then take decide what to do about the rest but even after you expose you will have to rely broadly on visual things you can do some concrete tests uh, but you also want to be very very careful touching a foundation because you don't want to chip into that's that right. that's exactly why so i asked the, the other balance of, of it uh, that's exactly why i asked the question of a non destructive testing which i know it happens in a couple of uh, places abroad but uh, i would recommend request you if you could try to see if you can bring that technology to here also because if if you repair it's like godi godi nal nal when you repair the upper part if your foundation is uh, shaky it keep, it's going to keep on repeating every 2 3 years and i have lot of buildings which i have seen wherein that happens uh, i think a civil engineer myself uh, the foundation is the critical area so please uh, make some efforts to see if you can bring in some test from abroad that will really help it will be actually put up in a good way into the government also to enforce it the way ndt has now been enforced in the structural law you know i'm going to say something which you said which also came to my i didn't say it because the buddhi godi lal laga is true for your upper part also where you have to take care of the beam slab you know people It's, focus on you know i'm putting thousand rupees per square foot tiles and everything and not looking at the underlying thing so that awareness is really really required जितने भी पहले ग्राउंड फ्लोर बनता है फिर ग्राउंड प्लस वन बन जाता है फिर ग्राउंड प्लस टू बन जाता है उनका उनका भविष्य क्या है ये अपने स्लम स्लम का आप बोल रहे हो सेफ्टी के बारे में सी क्या होता है सर कि जस्ट लाइक आप एक आई गिव एन एग्जांपल कि हेल्दी आदमी को से तीन चार पांच चपाती खानी चाहिए प्रोटीन खाना चाहिए सब्जी खानी चाहिए घी खाने चाहिए फिर आदमी तंदुरुस्त होता है वो इतना काम कर सकता है अस्सी नब्बे साल तक यू नो हेल्दी जी सकता है अभी आप उसी आदमी को उनके बचपन में एक रोटी ओके okay, एकदम पतली दाल और एकदम कम चावल के तो आदमी जिंदा रहेगा खड़ा रहेगा लेकिन ज्यादा काम नहीं कर पाएगा अगर भूकंप या कुछ आया तो आदमी गिर जाएगा भूकंप इस दिनों धक्का लगा तो आदमी गिर जाएगा वो कुछ सह नहीं पाएगा ऐसे ही बिल्डिंग का होता है कि सिर्फ खड़ी रहने की बात हुई अंडर इट्स ओन वेट तो बिल्डिंग कैन विच स्टैंड लॉट ऑफ अब्यूज बट the moment there is even little bit of uh work required to be done by the building it can collapse so unfortunately you hota hai ki aise bhi building aapko sign dege jaise aadmi roega are dukh raha hai aise ho raha hai hum log samajhte hai ki because hum ek dusre ki bhasha samajhte hai lekin building jab roti hai tab hum log sab ye signs samajhte nahi hai ki building aapko batati hai kuch hone ke pehle ki ye hone wala hai mera khayal rakho lekin log वो समझते नहीं और इवेंचुअली फिर हमें पेपर में पढ़ने को आता है अरे ऐसे ऐसे हुआ बिल्डिंग कोलैप्स हो गई लोगों की जान चली गई फिर उनके साथ बात करने के बाद पता चल कि नहीं क्रैक्स हो रहे थे उन्होंने इनको बताया किसी ने सुना नहीं कुछ काम हुआ नहीं सो दैट इज द थिंग मैं भी का, काफी बार देखता हूं कि वह ये ऐसे हो रहा है कैसे खड़े रहेंगे ये बिल्डिंग खड़ी अच्छा है उसके बाद यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू यू नो किसी का बुरा तो नहीं कह सकते लेकिन दे आर आस्किंग फॉर इट अनफॉर्चुनेटली in the city area there are buildings adjacent to each other correct then say there are three buildings 
वो साइड बाय साइड तो बीच में वाला बिल्डिंग है इट इज बीइंग डिमोलिश फॉर री डेवलपमेंट टू एडिशन बिल्डिंग्स वो दे आर हैविंग क्रैक्स बिकॉज दोज दो साइड्स आर सिंकिंग एंड एट द फ्लोरिंग वी फाइंड क्रैक्स आर देर so what precaution is to be taken in such a situation uh, no can you repeat sir there are two buildings the central building is been constructed and the adjacent buildings are exhibiting uh, cracks at their foundation cracks at the foundation the flooring huh. we find cracks from this end to that end or the wow. cracks are being seen as if uh, those sides are sinking and the uh, fellow Who is re-developing? He is doing pile foundation work. Ah, huh. or sir, or. So what? Okay, uh, I'll tell you. We have uh, we have encountered that also. Okay, in the past, and uh, in that sense, our role is to first understand what piling that fellow is doing. I have to understand. you know i'll have to look at both the buildings understand what the structure of both the buildings are and then determine whether what is happening is a temporary thing or if it is a major thing and then they have to do something change their construction methodology of the new, of the new building that is being built see in in some in one or two instances in mumbai where you know uh, most buildings in mumbai are you know can be quite close by they were constructing something in the monsoon and they were not taking enough care and the adjacent buildings were really really concerned so after we uh, you know at one or two places when we reviewed it we understood that this could be an issue the building people got in touch with that whom so the developer was and the developer actually had to fill in the hole uh, and then of course you know then they reconstructed after after the monsoon uh, see what happens is most of the builders are not really trying to cause problems to the others because it is more headache to them they are trying to play it safe uh, when the construction starts if such unforeseen problems come up then they have to be tackled there is no escaping the fact that they have to be uh, you know tackled as they say but at that time you have to understand what is happening you know whether it whether it was foreseen that it would happen or if it was not foreseen then you have to change your methodology yeah thank you ji thank you yeah yeah we were busy and at one case where we did an excavation of nearly 12 13 meters uh we studied how close that adjacent building was it held that we had only designed the adjacent building uh, so we had some idea but we knew there were one or two areas which could be slightly tight and uh, there were the adjacent people did come the builder did talk to them but everything went off safely fortunately you know there was no real cause for concern thank you thank you ji our friend rotarian gautam chande ji a very renowned uh, structural consultant has nicely explained the need of the structural audit and he nicely equalize it is as good as checking your own health jitna importance aapke health ko check up karne ka hai utna hi importance aapke building ki structural audit karne ka hai aur jaise jaise umar badhti hai health check up ki zyada zarurat padti hai aur to usi dhang se jaise jaise building ki umar badhti hai structural audit ki bhi zarurat padti hai aur unhone bahut hi saaf aur kam shabdon mein bahut hi achhi tarah ye sab ko sabko samjha diya उन्होंने ये भी बताया कि हाउ स्ट्रक्चर ऑडिट किस ढंग से की जाती है क्या क्या मेथोडोलॉजीज है उन्होंने बहुत ही अच्छे ढंग से ये भी बताया कि यदि इसको टाइम से स्ट्रक्चर ऑडिट नहीं किया गया उसके रेमेडीज नहीं किए गए तो इसके रिपरकेशन कहाँ तक जा सकते हैं और इन पास कहाँ कहाँ इसका डैमेज लोगों ने भुगता है मेरे हिसाब से उन्होंने ये भी अच्छी तरह बताया कि गवर्नमेंट ने और सिस्टम ऑलरेडी ड्राफ्ट किया है कि जितने भी बिल्डिंग तीस साल के जूनी है उन्होंने हर तीन साल में एक बार स्ट्रक्चर ऑडिट करना है उनके खुद के भले के लिए और जो पंद्रह तो उससे ओल्ड बिल्डिंग है उनको पांच साल में ऑडिट करना है यदि हम ऐसा करेंगे तो सेफ्टी मेजर फॉर द बिल्डिंग विल बी ऑटोमेटिकली टेकन केयर और भी हमें पता चलेगा कि कहां कहां रेमेडी लेना है फ्रेंड्स वी आर रियली थैंकफुल टू मिस्टर गौतम चांदे फॉर एलोबरेटिंग एजुकेटिंग अस ऑन दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट Of, uh, particularly for all Mumbaiers and all the people who are sitting in our uh, staying in urban areas. Friends, now I just would like to remind you 
the next lecture series is going to be on the 5th march that and the subject is waste management water and solar management and other civic issues on this subject our rotary club of bombay west and mahaseva jointly going to organize on 5th march i request each of you to be present for witnessing this another important subject of our day to day affair thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you for inviting me anand ji uh, sunil ji i think it's a very thank nice you. series that you have over here in terms of getting information to people uh, of course my rotary club is a big part of it uh, but thank you sunil ji for you know helping us reach out to more and more people thank you gautam ji thank you